Well, I've definitely had better sleeping nights than the one I just had. Welcome back to your Daily Dose, everybody. I mean, I kind of already knew that this couch wasn't going to be comfortable. Got maybe like, I don't know, three hours of sleep. But check out this view. I could easily wake up to this every day. Holy camoly. He didn't know I wear contacts. Oh my gosh. Not a really good start to the day. The shower leaked a lot into uh, the bathroom floor and my only sweatshirt is soaked. This is one of the coolest buildings I've ever seen in my life. It's like squiggly going up. <laughs> it was my first time sleeping in a huge major city and I don't know how people do it because there's so much sounds going on at night. I don't know if you guys can hear it. There's another ambulance. What's the secret? So we're about ready to go. We're about to head to one of the coolest Starbucks ever in the world. It's five stories. I think it's called Starbucks Reserve. Oh, we did it. Goodbye, terrible couch. I'm so tired. I need this Starbucks ASAP. Stat. Starbucks. No. Mm -hmm. Michael Jordan's Steakhouse is actually in the Intercontinental. We were going to go there, but it was sold out. Out we go. Let's go now. Let's go, let's go. Noting there is Starbucks in the Intercontinental, but I'd rather go to a five-story Starbucks. Gonna drop off our bags at Bell Services. Love the outfit. Oh, I love thank it. Very much. Like your hat, dude. Thanks a lot. Thanks, Will. Thank See you, man. Into the cold we go. Good morning, Chicago. It's much warmer today. Yeah, it's a lot warmer actually. <laughs> Woo! Feels great. You excited, Mom? Yes, it's much warmer today. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's a heat wave. This is a good day to go exploring, which we're doing. This is so much warmer. I will say, this really excites me about going to New York City because, you know, New York City is way bigger than this. And yeah, I kind of just announced sometime this year, we'll be going to New York City. I just kind of announced something. I didn't tell him when, but I said sometime this year, expect a New York City trip. Oh. Mmm. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Unheard of. The five story Starbucks. Starbucks Reserve is actually right across the street from where we ate last night. Um, I'm excited. I found this place. There she is. A five story Starbucks. What? I can't count. It's four stories. Same thing. I'm just like so blown away by like all the skyscrapers. It's something else. I've always been drawn to this city. Maybe one day I'll move to Chicago or New York City, I don't know. I mean, what do you guys think? What if I moved to Chicago for like, like a month, get an Airbnb for a month? Would that be fun? Let me know down below. What? Are we know. getting breakfast here? Oh. I don't want breakfast from here. No, we gotta go to that other place. That yolk. Like all the way to yolk, that's way the opposite direction. It's go. literally down there. No, it's the opposite direction. We dribble past it. We have feet. We can do it. I wonder if we're gonna need our vaccination card to enter. Yes. Oh yeah, you do. Someone's actually checking for it. Hello. Hello. Hi. This is actually the world's largest Starbucks. We're the world's largest Starbucks. It's awesome. Thank you. Here's a look at what's on each floor. Floor number one is a reserved coffee bar, two is the bakery and cafe, three is the experimental coffee bar, and four is the cocktail bar. I think you should go to the third um, thing because she said there's like, experiences where they'll like roast and make it in front of you. High five. Hey! <laughs> Thumbs the video up everybody. Floor two. I am speechless. This is uh, a lot of fun. The floor Alexa said we should experiment on because 
apparently it's called the experimental floor. Okay, let's, uh, oh my goodness, look. They make it in front of your eyes. What? I ordered a, um, I don't even know what I ordered, but we're siping, sipin, sipening our coffee. It was a total of $50. Like a the mugs that they serve it is actually pretty cool. It looks like you actually can't take it with you. I think you probably would have had to specify to go. Starbucks with a view. Doesn't get better than this. Other than Starbucks and Disney. Honestly, it tastes better than any other chai I've ever had. Ethiopia. So what we ordered is a tasting flight. This was a total of 25. Um, this was the expensive part. We did get, get to watch it brew, which was pretty darn cool. All I know is I need coffee because I could fall asleep. I said let it sit because it's too hot. Mmm. This is really good. Oh, I guess it's pistachio. It's really good. This is a pistachio, I believe, chai latte. It's delicious. It's so creamy. Oh my gosh, I'm in love. Well, for $25, this better be good. Oof, very strong. <laughs> Bad at all, it's really easy to drink and I don't even like coffee. I don't like black coffee, but this is good. Yeah. A bar in Starbucks, this is amazing. Appreciate it. Well, that was quite the experience. On to the next experience. Where are we going? Let's go get some popcorn. Think it's open? Let's see. Garrett's popcorn. Lottie told us to go there, and we love popcorn, so we're gonna give it a go. The sun. I know. <laughs> okay. Since I'm not really from the city, or you know, never really have, it's kind of fascinating just to hear all the the sounds and see all the sights. Oh, right there, Garrett's. Garrett popcorn. It looks like you order online and pick it up through a window. Fascinating. Or at least you can. Pretty cool. We're gonna head on in. Oh my God, it smells great. We got the Garrett mix. Caramel crisp and cheese corn. All right, let's give her a bite. Okay, hold on, I have to take it all out. You might want to stop recording for a second. Isn't she lovely? Isn't she beautiful? Cheese is really good. I'm not a big fan of caramel, but that's because I'm more into savory popcorn. Really good. Um, Your nose is red. Doc popcorn still wins. I got the Hi. caramel for you. I, I, she got the caramel for me. I love the caramel. I'm not gonna eat it, and then you eat it. It's popcorn. Okay, on to the next stop. So we're gonna continue here on at Michigan Avenue, and we're gonna head to Millennial Park for uh, the tourist attraction, The Bean. My mom actually has never been to The Bean before, which is, uh, you excited? I've never seen the bean, so yeah, of course. It's just it's just like this silver little structure, but um, they also call this the Magnificent Mile, right? That's correct. The whole the whole street. We're not really venturing too far off. Um, we got a lot of time though. Still plenty to do today. Chicago is beautiful, beautiful. Look at that. Look at this Apple Store. Wow, right along the river. All these buildings just simply amaze me. It is something else. There's the bean, Mom! 
We walked all this way for that. Yeah. Wow. Ah! You have to see this when you come to Chicago. You have to. I can't believe this is your first time. No, I've never seen this before. It's pretty cool. I did not come down here to Chicago in my younger years. Never did. What do you mean your younger years? You're still young. Didn't like the craziness. No way. There's an ice rink and the Zamboni's out there right now. I actually believe it's free. But you have to reserve tickets online. And I think maybe bring your own skates. Oh my gosh, I waited all these years for this? Awesome, totally awesome. Does anybody know why there is a bean here? Like, it's cool, but like, why? Why is it here? It's art. Is that why? Yeah. I like it. Last time I was here, there was a ton of people. So I think winter is, is the way to go. The Millennium Park. It's so odd, just look at this. In summer, there's a million people here. Winter, winter's the way to go. Hi Alexa. <laughs> That's so cool. I think it is bring your own skates. It's free though. Uh, oh my God. What? Are you kidding me? Oh, you're so lucky. <laughs> I stepped on her shoe. The end of the world. <laughs> Expensive shoes. Well, that was fun. On to the next adventure. Where are we going? Oh, so I don't fell. know. We should so go to the Willis nice. Tower. I don't know. Where are we going? I'm along Willis Tower? for the ride. You know you're not from Chicago when you have walking directions to the Willis Tower, which used to be called the Sears Tower. <laughs> Sears Tower? I think. Something like that. Susan believes. It's cool. The train's running through. That's so cool. I love this city. There's another one. The Willis Tower is the third largest skyscraper in America. The One World Trade Center is the largest, followed by the Central Park Tower in New York. Shucks, we just missed Frozen on Broadway. Caution, falling ice, falling ice, falling ice. Falling ice. Now we have to watch out for falling ice. And up we go. That goes pretty, uh, pretty high. Gosh, I love these spinning doors they have everywhere. <laughs> oh, warmth. It's a beautiful lobby. Huh. Okay. Welcome to uh, one of the best attractions in Chicago, the Sky Deck. I don't think we need reservations. No idea. It doesn't seem too busy. Oh, so much better in here. Just talked uh, to this guy over here. Almost called him a cast member, but supposedly today's really dead. A plus for us. Buy the tickets over here? Is that what we're doing? Yeah. Before you get pushed for the next time, get in here. Oh, okay. Well, just buy two. I'll pay you back. Actually, no. Sky Deck. $30. Oh, these are the Disney ones. You first got to go into the machine and you do. This is actually a really cool little queue. It's very long now. Welcome to Flora 103. This is truly incredible. Unreal. I love that it's winter too and you can see the, the snow. What do you think, Mom? Oh, this is, it's totally different from when I came here in September. It's because it's snow. Because it's snow. The one job I could never do, cleaning these windows. Whoever can do that, props to you. This is so high. It's really cool to see the lake as well because obviously it's frozen. This is truly beautiful. Unreal. We're up so high. Leave your mark in the sky. Go for it, Alexa. All right, here we go. The edge. This is insane. Un I'm scared. Oh my God. Holy cow. This is unbelievable. <laughs> this does terrify me. I'm terrified of heights. <laughs> we are off the building. Into the unknown. Into the unknown. I don't know how you can just stand there, it's terrifying. 
This is how I know I can never go skydiving. Just looking at that just makes me want to cry. That is so far. <laughs> just like that, back down we go. We're headed to Giordano's. Let's do this. Let's Deep do it. dish pizza. Alexa can now cross it off her bucket list. Famous stuffed pizza. Let's go. Apparently the deep dishes take 45 minutes to bake. I've only got it once before and I wasn't a fan. I want to see if my uh, taste buds have developed a little bit better to enjoy this. So I'm going to get a deep dish. Uh, the Chicago Classic deep dish. And in case you want to know, the Chicago Classic is pepperoni, mushrooms, green peppers, and onions. Wow. Holy cow. You've done this a few times, haven't you? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. My. God. Here we go. It's a lot better than I remember. Not a fan on the bottom crust, but the sauce and the ingredients, cheese. Lift back to the hotel. Thank you. Oh. Will! Will! You're back, welcome home. We are back, thanks man. <laughs> Well, this was a nice place. Oh yeah, did you all get to use the pool? Thanks so much. Oh, thanks, man. You're my, you're my hero today. Look, look at this place. Thank you. Thanks, Will. Thank you. You want to say bye to the vlog? Hey. It's been a pleasure, Will. Please come back and see us again. Heck yeah, come see Will. Yeah, you have to. <laughs> thanks, man. The doormen here are literal gentlemen. So nice. Opening the doors, treating you like a princess. Shout out to Will. The standards are set high. Open the magic door. Okay. <laughs> There's more magic behind that door. Well, everybody, we're about to arrive somewhere very, very special. We are on North Trip Avenue here in 1901. Disney was born. This house was designed and built by Flora and Elias Disney, Walt and Roy's mother and father. What was for and Roy was 12 years old and then they made their trip to Missouri. November 5th of 1901, Walt Disney was born here at this house. Honestly, it kind of gives me the chills. Honorary Disney Family Avenue. Right here in uh, 1901, December 5th, Walt Disney was born. It's kind of giving me the chivers. Does it give you the chivers? No. No? No. Really? I think it's kind of cool and they're actually kind of restoring it to its original state as well. It might uh, eventually turn into a museum. I don't really know if someone lives here right now, but it's pretty cool that uh, in 1901, this is uh, you know, where Walt was born. Some pretty darn cool history since uh, we're primarily a uh, Disney channel. What do you guys think? This is where Walt was born, 1901. Pretty cool, pretty cool. What we all love today was literally kind of started right here. This is where it all began. It's kind of nuts. It's so cool. Thank you so much, Disney. I'm kind of geeking out about this. Alexa's like, okay. What would you guys be if you were here? I think it's so cool. Like, this is where, like, it all began. It all began. Well, he was just born. Like, it's not like the idea, like, started here. It's I just... know, but it's just, like, cool that everything that we love is started right here. Look at this. Oh, these are people who donate to the house. This is where it all started. Oh my gosh, this is cool. Walt Disney birthplace, <laughs> it's so cool. I think it's vacant, but they're like restoring it to its normal state in 1901. And you can actually go online to donate who's ever doing it for that. And I think it's a, gonna be a museum. Well, it's been a pleasure. We'll uh, see you next time. Well, we'll see you in Disney World, right? See you in Disney World. Well, everybody, we are back here in Wisconsin. I hope you guys enjoyed this very, very jam-packed vlog. It was quite the day. Just got home about an hour ago and finished up the vlog. I hope you guys enjoy this. We have one day left here in Wisconsin. Then we head on back to uh, Florida for uh, some very fun adventures. I'll see you guys tomorrow. That was it for your Daily Dose. Peace out.